Let's get to the matter of the day, everyone. It's about the economy and the issues of appointment. That is very critical for this government. We see certain agenda for the president ahead of the 2019 2023 term of office. Four year term. That is his second term in office. So, a lot of issues are on the table. That's what I'll tell you about uh, some of the things the president did today. President Muhammad Buhari inaugurated a National Economic Council today with a charge on the council to focus on security, agriculture, health, and economic development. The president's message is contained in his inaugural address delivered at the State House Council Chambers. The council is headed by the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, with the 36 state governors as members. Others include the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, the Governor of the Central Bank, amongst others. The president also wants state governors to improve education, internally generated revenue, value-added tax, and agricultural output in their respective states. We also uh, can confirm to you some uh, kind of uh, news just coming in that the federal government has considered abolishing Almajiri system of education. Some of these stories coming in after the meeting of uh, the NEC there that there is a possibility and the consideration of abolishing Almajiri system of government. Stay with us on China's television. We'll give you details of that. Well, also, the president has appointed uh, the a new NNPC GMD. So uh, apart from the inauguration of the National Economy Council, the president also made an announcement of the appointment of Mr. Mele Ikari as the new group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC. Until his appointment, Mr. Kiari, who is a geologist, was group general manager, crude oil marketing division of the NNPC, and also doubled as Nigeria's national representative to the organization of the petroleum exporting countries, OPEC, since 13th of May 2018. Those are issues on appointment and focus on the economy. Now, some members of the APC are not happy. Uh, some members of uh, the youth in the wing of the party are not happy, especially the presidential council, are demanding that they should be considered in the federal appointment in both the executive and legislative arms of government. We're addressing John Lee's at the headquarters of the campaign council and the leader and the former head of digital media at the press party's presidential campaign council, Mr. Yoyala, was saying that the youth worked for the victory of the APC at the 2019 presidential election and also deserved to be considered the appointment at the federal level. We are saying people that you are bringing in to work with you do not believe in your vision and your purpose and your plan. So, and this is a message not just to the Senate president, but to the entire members of our both executive and the legislature that the young people who worked tirelessly for the past five years be before we became a government who have been sidelined are saying enough is enough no more but monkey they walk baboon they chop we will not just help to drive agenda we must also work with you to do that agenda the economy the focus of the government and a lot of the members of the party and outside are asking for inclusiveness. How will this happen? My panel tonight on the program. I have joining me from Abuja studio, the man who led the protest that you saw there, Ayo Yalo, is a political economist and development expert and a member of the APC, and also Dr. Katch Ononiju, an economist and a PDP member. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming on tonight. Perhaps I should allow Dr. Katch Anonuju, I see that you're smiling. Uh, let me allow you coming here. Uh, the focus of the president and the APC on the economy. First and foremost, a lot of people expected that by now, 22 days after he was inaugurated and sworn in as president for a second time, no uh, cabinet just yet. Uh, the issues of economy, he said it plans to consolidate on what he did in 2014, and he can hear Ayo and some of his colleagues there are not happy with the appointments made in some quarters in the party. What's your take? Well, we're back to this again. Today, what was done was the inauguration of the National Economic Council. But the most important thing, and that's what we've been saying for the past four years, to run a modern country in today's world, you need a council of economic advisors. And the president never had this. 
And that's why you've seen, as I've consistently said on this channel, our economy has been in a permanent depression. It's gone down from where it was. It's not come back to where it was. It's not even managed to grow up to half the average we used to have before we went down into this recession. That's not ending. It's very good that he, at an economic uh, meeting, was talking about things like security, education. These are the things that the president knows very well that, honestly, his government has failed. The United Nations recommends 26% of your budget dedicated for education in developing countries. We spend less than 5.6% of our national budget on education. The only good news I've heard from you today is a campaign I have been on for the past, uh, I've been doing it for the past 10 years, that we must abolish the elementary system of education. It does not work. Elementary and polygamy, I see, are the two things that have kept Nigeria down. And no, no, we should abolish elementary and pump more money and get the children into real schools. You cannot do anything to help the children in the north if you don't avail them the logistics that they need to compete in a market-driven system based on competition. And that is education. The government needs today to appoint economic advisors. The vice president, who happens to be the chairman of NEC, is actually a lawyer. The national economic planning, uh, planning minister, Udo Doma, also a lawyer. Where are the economists? in the economic team. And that's what I think. If the president wants me to believe his rhetoric, I want to be led by the facts. It's no more just thinking, blissful platitude, heavy grammar, things that are written for him to parrot. Those rhetorics will not change. As you can see, the APC youth are asking to be included. We don't need government of old men. Let's find those who went to school. Let them now be able to practice that which they read in school. And that's why we insist that this government should appoint a conference of economic advisors to actually okay. drive the economy. Uh, so let, far, let me allow, the economy doc, will remain where doc, it is yeah. if you don't bring people who know what you're doing. Are you, are you happy with the state of things? You're a member of the APC. You were on the street today. You were looking very disappointed with what is happening on the ground. Dr. Kachanonu, you believe that when it comes to economy, the APC government was a disaster. And looking into the next four years, is that part of your disappointments too? Well, good evening. Sir. Thank you. Well, I, I will not agree with the word disaster because that is a little bit uh, far-fetched. Uh, like uh, Dr. Bismarck Rewane has said, I don't know whether it's doctor or mister, but he's one of the most respected economists in Nigeria, and uh, I, I think I will go along with him more because he has said it clearly that, uh, yes, the economy has not done very well, but we should ask ourselves, why is the economy not doing very well? The economy has not done very well simply because we have no productive capacity. When people like Dr. Cash keep talking about our economy has gone down, you ask yourself, why was it up before? It was a lie economy that has been built on lie. We never produce anything apart from crude oil. So we now need to have a modern economy, and I agree with him on that, a modern economic system that produces more than it consumes. And in terms of the appointment, I am not happy by what happened in the last four years. And we are already seeing signs of what is happening. And let me quickly clear this. I am not in that bracket of youth in that sense. I am only giving these young men and women a platform as a leader to help them achieve what they want to. Because clearly, you cannot drive an agenda with people who do not believe in your agenda. The APC has an agenda, which is called the next level. A very wonderfully written manifesto in that agenda. But when you bring in outsiders who don't believe in you, people who have called you names, people who say you don't know what you are doing. Some of them even said the president had died. They call him lifeless. They call him a man of horrible names. And then you bring this kind of people to come and help you drive that agenda. You right. know you've already signed for your failure even before you begin the work. So what All we right. have done today is to tell the president and those people in charge, that is the president who made this mistake, that Nigerian, especially the APC, young people... Mr. Yalawa, just a moment.
to be part of driving this agenda. All right, just a moment. Sitting down to, I mean, not to be to be used for election purposes and then being driven away. After let, let me, let me, let me just. Please, can, can, can you hold your doing. thought for a moment, ah, uh, Doctor Catch or Nonuju? Though nobody will be happy with the mystery index. Nobody might be happy with perhaps the projection on the GDP, but. The, the, some of the issues that uh, indicate us, for example, inflation is down, uh, external result has gone up, uh, the total export from 2017 uh, had gone higher by several notches. These are some of the indicators. Uh, a lot of people will agree with you that we had a slow start in the life of the first term of this of Buhari government. The, uh, the economy went into recession, it crept out, but a lot of people believe that in fact, Nigeria is doing better than some of the bigger economies in terms of the projections and the growth of the GDP. I mean, when you are saying you are not happy, the question is, are we on the right path? No, we're not on the right path. Those things you hear the president mention, a lot of those things are not jobs to be undertaken by the government. Security is in his hands. And because of his mistake in misinterpreting the West African protocol on free movement of goods and services, a lot of insecurity today has become Nigeria's problem because you now have an incredible influx of people who came in from the sub-region into Nigeria. I don't know his strategy. And because of the anger in that sudden influx of those people and the insecurity no previous Nigerian leader who understands the Nigerian project showed up at Buhari's inauguration. It's a tacit, polite way to tell him, we're not happy where you're going to. I'm happy today that APC youth that would normally come into television studios to argue with me, things are fine, things are this, this. They are, they are being honest. They are being factual. It's not going to work. General Buhari has to. Abolish his use of nepotism as policy. Look for the bright stars to actually stalk the government. The sun doesn't need to rise from the north and set in the north. Wherever the sun rises from and you need the sun for energy, take it. Don't insist on this nepotism that makes you to only say the economic managers must come from your part of the country, must be in the same mosque with you. That is not Nigeria. That's against the project. And that's why we believe Buhari's first four years have been calamitous. And I believe this rhetoric he's throwing about, I'm not going to believe it until I see his actions. I want to be led by the facts. And I want to advise Nigerians, don't listen to Buhari's rhetoric. He said this rhetoric before, and he did what? He did something differently. Today, across the country, people are now resorting to self-help in terms of securing themselves. That is very, very bad, because once people resort to self-help, anything can happen. Why is that so? Buhari has failed to secure Nigerians. Look at the issue about education. We are only now saying, let me tell you, about six years ago, a governor in the north called me after I went for a public hearing in my promotion of my agitation that Alamanji should be outlawed, because it really doesn't bring any benefit. It's like Sunday school. Sunday school does not give anybody to any, anything to any child that will allow them to compete in a market-driven system built along competitive lines. Now, if we're going to be serious about education, I'll be happy to see it. It's one thing to say something by politicians. It's another thing when they act differently. So all I want to do in this term, in this new four years, is let Buhari lead Nigeria through his actions. All right, uh, Dr. Nonuju, so, let's allow uh, uh, Mr. Yalo to, to come in here. Uh, Mr. Yalo, you heard some of the uh, analyses made by Dr. Nonuju. A lot of people will say Nigerians want to have a solid economic team. Uh, can you react to some of the issues raised by Dr. Nonuju? Well, uh, the Yoruba say even when we are crying, we can see where we are going to. I, I disagree with Dr. Nonuju because... The, I, don't, I don't like when you are making a good argument, you decide to now use uh, innuendos and a, a lot of uh, untruth in it. I mean, the entire Nigeria economy is not in the hands of the North. I disagree. The Minister of Finance that was originally appointed was from the South. The CBN governor is from the South. 
the head of economic council is from the south. The special advisor of the, of the economy is, uh, is from the south. So I don't know where he got his own from that they are all from the north. I think we need to be very careful when we're on TV and making these things. We should be factual to the When you are saying somebody is not doing right, and then you are also saying something that is not right. Look, I'm angry that the APC is making mistakes, but that does not mean I will come here and lie against the party or the president. The truth is that the president made some mistakes in his first appointment. We agree to that, but we are expecting that he would do better. But that is not to say that everything was completely wrong. The, we, we cannot isolate Nigeria from the reality of the global economy. All over the world, there are challenges everywhere. So it is not just about Nigeria, but we can manage our own issue if we get the best hand. And that is where I will agree with him. We need younger and brighter minds. We need smart guys, but people who Mr. Yalawa, your I, vision. I, I, don't I, I, I beg to quickly, I beg to quickly, to run down the government but, but, in the name I, I, of I get uh, to quickly bop in there. The question is that the expectations for the government, the APC government, in this second term is very huge. And the president has promised that he will yep. hit the ground running. He said he's going to get things done. He's going to consolidate on what he did in the first term. 22 days down the line, no cabinet, no major appointment has been made. Are you disappointed? Do you think Nigerians who voted this well, government should be well, disappointed? Well, while I, I think we, we, are, we are getting some things from you, there's no major appointment, but you just mentioned today that the person who will run an NPC has been appointed. And we know how critical an NPC is to the economy of Nigeria. The, I mean, the uh, accountant general has just been appointed. So I, I think our fixation of just minister is a little bit uh, unfounded. Yes, I would have expected that something would move faster. But that is not to say everything is zero. So we must, even while we are crying, try to be factual. You about to so cool and when we are crying, we can see, see, I am angry, but I'm not blind. The president will do what he needs to do, but we are only urging him that, look, the projections look right. Just key into this opportunity and let's get the best out of it. All right. We have great people let, in let the me... party of APC who can help you drive your agenda. Hopefully, I hope they are listening and I hope they will do what is right for right. Nigeria. Mr. Yalawa, let me allow Mr. Ononuju in 30 seconds uh, to give uh, his uh, closing uh, um, thought on this issue. Where do we go from here? Your closing thought in 30 seconds. Thank you. In order to correct his impression, there are new, new appointments made by the president. All he has done is to reconfirm the old deadwoods who have not brought anything new. It's just like reconfirming Buratai, the army chief. If he's failed to arrest Boko Haram in four years, if the people who have failed to do anything in four years, you reappoint them today, you reconfirm them today, it means more of the same. So I really have no symbol. I've done anything. For you to do right. the same old things you did before and you expect something new to happen, and something is wrong with you. I, I just want well, Nigerians to my, follow the facts. All right. Country. I must sincerely thank both of you. Uh, oh, no. You never agree. Uh, it's interesting that I agree with you on a few matters today, but I'm happy that both of you are smiling. Yes. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming. And Dr. Kacha no, Nunuju of the PDP, Ayo Yalawa of the APC. Thank you so much, gentlemen, right. for coming. But, they always disagree on the issues of economy and some of the, uh, the figures. But well, what a note to end the show tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'm Shion Kimale. Bye-bye.